Lately, when I've been visiting sites such as the World of Warships subreddit, the comments on YouTube videos, or even in Twitch chat, one question that I keep seeing time and time again is, what line should I grind? Now, to best answer this question, I'm going to create a mini-series here on my channel over what I highly recommend to be the top three lines from each class that I really reckon people should be grinding for in 2023. Now, I'm going to be covering each of the destroyers, cruisers, battleships, and aircraft carriers. Sorry subs, but there's only three Tech 3 Tier 10s at the moment, so, well, yeah, that video doesn't really need to be made. So, it Let's talk in this video then about the top three destroyers that you should absolutely grind for in the current meta. In no particular order, the first destroyer that I'm going to recommend to everyone to pick up has got to be the British Tier 10 DD, the Daring. Combined with a very enjoyable grind, the Daring has many strengths going for it that make it such a fantastic ship to play in the current meta. Great guns, a long duration personal hydro, single fire torpedoes and the trademark British short burst smoke screens which make the daring a very dangerous ship to be fighting in any ship. The main downside to this ship I will say would have to be its low top speed combined with a lack of engine boost. It does mean that you have to position yourself quite carefully otherwise getting caught out can often mean your demise. The next destroyer that I strongly believe that all players should pick up would have to be the Gearing. The Gearing is a fantastic jack of all trades for a destroyer with some great torpedoes, the signature long duration American wall of smoke, plus some rather handy guns for close quarters situations. The Gearing does make for a solid all rounder. Now when playing this ship however, you just have to be fairly cautious around enemy destroyers that have superior firepower and especially enemy planes as you can often struggle to either disengage or shoot your way out. This is because just like the daring you have got quite a low top speed for a destroyer even though you do have an engine boost to somewhat mitigate this weakness. The final tier 10 destroyer I would highly encourage all players to be picking up in 2023 would have to be the Kleber. Now. Unlike the other two ships I've mentioned thus far, the Colbert has got the fastest speed in the game when utilizing its insane signature French speed boost of plus 20%. Combined with the unique French damage saturation mechanic, plus the main battery reload booster, you have some absolutely ridiculous firepower, plus the ability to YOLO enemy ships with your high damage torps. Now, when a ship has advantages such as this, it must come with some pretty big trade-offs. And for the Kleber, that is namely going to be in the Concealment and Turret Traverse categories. This ship has got an extremely large detection radius for a destroyer. Combined with some of the slowest turret traverse on any destroyer that I've played, it can be quite hard at times to zigzag against your opponents whilst keeping all your guns on target. Nevertheless, if you have the capability to truly utilize the strengths of this ship, you will be extremely well rewarded. Now, just before we move on to a couple of honorable mentions, if you've been enjoying this video so far, please consider liking this video and subscribing if you want to see more of this content in the near future. If I've missed out on a particular Tech Freak Destroyer here on my list, Comment down below what ship I missed out on and why you think it deserves a spot in your top three. The two honorable mentions that I decided to include in my list here would have to go to both the Yu Yang and the Harland. Both of these ships I've honestly been really enjoying lately and their strengths, namely their torpedo power. Whilst the Harland gets regular torps with low damage and incredible speed, the Yu Yang features the Pan-Asian specialty of deep water torps that have incredible damage and some pretty amazing stealth at the trade-off of being completely unable to hit destroyers with them. Each ship has got some very solid guns as well, meaning you can engage enemy ships at close range should you need to. The Holland has up its sleeve a heal and what is arguably the best AA defenses of any destroyer in the game but being forced to give up a smoke screen. Whilst the Yu Yang has got the fun option of being able to slot radar instead of a smoke, which, if you are a madman like me, can be immense fun. So, 
With that all said, was there anything I missed? If so, do let me know down in the comments below what ship I missed out on. And if you've ever been wondering about what are the best mods to use in World of Warships, you're gonna wanna click on this video here.